Above Life's Turmoil by James Allen Chapter 19 The Temple of Brotherhood Universal Brotherhood is the supreme ideal of humanity, and towards that ideal the world is slowly but surely moving. Today, as never before, numbers of earnest men and women are striving to make this ideal tangible and real. Fraternities are springing up on every hand, and press and pulpit, the world over, are preaching the brotherhood of man. The unselfish elements in all such efforts cannot fail to have their effect upon the race, and are with certainty urging it towards the goal of its noblest aspirations. But the ideal state has not yet manifested through any outward organization, and societies formed for the purpose of propagating brotherhood are continually being shattered to pieces by internal dissension. The brotherhood for which humanity sighs is withheld from actuality by humanity itself. It is frustrated even by men who work zealously, for it is a desirable possibility, and this because the purely spiritual nature of brotherhood is not perceived, and the principles involved, as well as the individual course of conduct necessary to perfect unity, are not comprehended. Brotherhood as a human organization cannot exist so long as any degree of self-seeking reigns in the hearts of men and women who band themselves together for any purpose, as such self-seeking must eventually rend the seamless coat of loving unity. But although organized brotherhood has so far largely failed, any man may realize brotherhood in its perfection and know it in all its beauty and completion, if he will make himself of a wise, pure, and loving spirit, removing from his mind every element of strife, and learning to practice those divine qualities without which brotherhood is but a mere theory, opinion, or elusive dream. For brotherhood is at first spiritual, and its outer manifestation in the world must follow as a natural sequence. As a spiritual reality, it must be discovered by each man for himself. And in the only place where spiritual realities can be found within himself, and it rests with each whether he shall choose or refuse it. There are four chief tendencies in the human mind which are destructive of brotherhood and which bar the way to its comprehension namely pride, self-love, hatred, condemnation. Where these are there can be no brotherhood, and whatsoever heart these hold sway discord rules, and brotherhood is not realized. For these tendencies are, in their very nature, dark and selfish, and always make for disruption and destruction.
From these four things proceeds that serpent brood of false actions and conditions which poison the heart of man and fill the world with suffering and sorrow. Out of the spirit of pride proceed envy, resentment, and opinionativeness Pride envies the position, influence, or goodness of others. It thinks, I am more deserving than this man or this woman. It also continually finds occasion for resenting the actions of others and says, I have been snubbed, I have been insulted, and thinking altogether of his own excellence, it sees no excellence in others. From the spirit of self-love proceed egotism, lust for power, and disparagement and contempt. Self-love worships the personality in which it moves. It is lost in the adoration and glorification of that I, that self, which has no real existence, but is a dark dream and a delusion. It desires preeminence over others and thinks, I am great, I am more important than others. It also disparages others and bestows upon them contempt, seeing no beauty in them being lost in the contemplation of its own beauty. From the spirit of hatred proceeds slander, cruelty, reveling, and anger. It strives to overcome evil by adding evil to it. It says, This man has spoken of me ill. I will speak still more ill of him and thus teach him a lesson. It mistakes cruelty for kindness and causes its possessor to revile a reproving friend. It feeds the flame of anger with bitter and rebellious thoughts. From the spirit of condemnation proceed accusation, false pity, and false judgment. It feeds itself on the contemplation of evil and cannot see the good. It has eyes for evil only and finds it in almost everything and every person. It sets up an arbitrary standard of right and wrong by which to judge others, and it thinks, this man does not do as I would have him do. He is therefore evil, and I will denounce him. So blind is the spirit of condemnation that whilst rendering its possessor incapable of judging himself, it causes him to set up as the judge of all the earth. From the four tendencies enumerated, no element of brotherliness can proceed. They are deadly mental poisons, and he who allows them to rankle in his mind cannot apprehend the peaceful principles on which brotherhood rests. Then there are chiefly four divine qualities, which are productive of brotherhood, which are, as it were, 
the foundation stones on which it rests, namely, humility, self-surrender, love, compassion. Wheresoever these are, their brotherhood is active. In whatsoever heart these qualities are dominant, their brotherhood is an established reality, for they are, in their very nature, unselfish and are filled with the revealing light of truth. There is no darkness in them, and where they are, so powerful is their light, that the dark tendencies cannot remain, but are dissolved and dissipated. Out of these four qualities proceed all those angelic actions and conditions which make for unity and bring gladness to the heart of man and to the world. From the spirit of humility proceed meekness and peacefulness. From self-surrender come patience, wisdom, and true judgment. From love spring kindness, joy, and harmony. And from compassion proceed gentleness and forgiveness. He who has brought himself into harmony with these four qualities is divinely enlightened. He sees whence the actions of men proceed and whither they tend, and therefore can no longer live in the exercise of the dark tendencies. He has realized brotherhood in its completion as freedom from malice, from envy, from bitterness, from contention, from condemnation. All men are his brothers, those who live in the dark tendencies, as well as those who live in the enlightened qualities, for he knows that when they have perceived the glory and beauty of the light of truth, the dark tendencies will be dispelled from their minds. He has but one attitude of mind towards all, that of goodwill. Of the four dark tendencies are born ill will and strife. Of the four divine qualities are born goodwill and peace. Living in the four tendencies, a man is a strife producer. Living in the four qualities, a man is a peacemaker. Involved in the darkness of the selfish tendencies, men believe that they can fight for peace, kill to make alive, slay injury by injuring, restore love by hatred, unity by contention, kindness by cruelty, and establish brotherhood by erecting their own opinions, which they themselves will, in the course of time, abandon as worthless, as objects of universal adoration. The wished-for temple of brotherhood will be erected in the world when its four foundation stones of humility, self-surrender, love, and compassion are firmly laid in the hearts of men. For brotherhood consists, first of all, in the abandonment of self by the individual, and its after effects is unity between man and man. 
Theories and schemes for propagating brotherhood are many, but brotherhood itself is one and unchangeable, and consists in the complete cessation from ego and strife, and in practicing goodwill and peace, for brotherhood is a practice and not a theory. Self-surrender and goodwill are its guardian angels, and peace is its habitation. Where two are determined to maintain an opposing opinion, the clinging to self and ill will are there, and brotherhood is absent. Where two are prepared to sympathize with each other, to see no evil in each other, to serve and not to attack each other, the love of truth and goodwill are there, and brotherhood is present. All strifes, divisions, and wars inhere in the proud, unyielding self. All peace, unity, and concord inhere in the principles which the yielding up of self reveals. Brotherhood is only practiced and known by him whose heart is at peace with all the world.